going on you guys back again with another video keeping it real this time out here I'm gonna go make this money as you guys can see a little bit of difference we got some of the the new wild card lawn care swag in changing up a little bit you know what I mean everybody's going with the the shirts that uh, pretty much are neon green orange we went with um Hawaiian shirts you know so people can actually see us out here when we're doing our stuff you know what I mean the thing is is like one of these shirts kind of really stick out you know you're gonna see these shirts so basically that's what it is we got different ones got my boy out there in Cali he's the one that got all my stuff hooked up for this I want a big thanks to um Mako Mike he's the one that if you see any of my um shirts I'm always wearing, wearing out there you know um all or nothing lures and stuff he makes all that stuff out there he's got a friend out there that does all the um the shirts so uh that's where we're gonna start you know probably cutting in some of these uh changing it up a little bit being wild being out there being bright you know um got some good news today freaking uh we were able to uh get a surprise got the email from uh green pal one of the things that um i haven't really changed up on the app is if I lose somebody I don't really drop them you know what I mean just drop them completely I keep them on there where you know I'd say from last year during the whole uh, pandemic corona stuff and whatnot I had a couple people that they said that they just couldn't have service so or they had somebody else doing service and uh, so we uh, I just I just kept them on there I never really took them off because if I do that that allows them to go back out for rebid so if they get rebid you know what I mean and these are some of the ones that I kind of have bid it a little bit higher just because um I gotta make it more beneficial for me if I'm gonna be out there cutting I wanna make that money I wanna maximize all my um money I can do so these ain't one of the cheaper lawns I let go um but the thing with the app is sometimes you can um it'll glitch on out like I think I mowed this one lady's lawn she's like hey I didn't even need it done but I still got paid so I don't know if she rented it out or nothing but that was kind of crazy but you know it's just one of those things where you know you want to keep your people even even if they're um not great people you know and I've had people that they've got on there I've, I've taken them off and then they went back and rebooked another lawn service you know cut with me and I just went back there and took it away took it off again just deleted them completely but for the most part you know if you're trying to get rid of somebody you just delete them and you know most of your people on Greenpel will underbid uh, the average so they'll get picked up again but then again you got some people that really like your work so they're gonna pay a premium price for it so you know know your worth know um, what you're getting into on some of these lawns because like today I don't know what I'm getting into so it could be good it could be bad but I know the first time I cut their grass it was like about a hundred and fifty dollar cut and I might have an old video if you look back at some of my older videos I think it might be on there and uh, it was it was with the Y Bravo too so we we out there just getting it so we got a fun filled day today we're gonna go out there we're gonna go get this money stay tuned all right guys we just got done with the first lawn of the day I didn't go ahead and I didn't go ahead and record this one because I know you guys have seen me do this lawn before but broke out the Y Bravo for this one we got the striping kit on it always excited the way it always makes the lawn turn out as you guys can see got some good good lines right there see that right there that's that's what makes it pops right there especially for um I'd say a new business starting off man get one of the striping kits right there they make it for all the mowers you know what I mean it's one of those things that makes your yards look different from everybody else's so yeah we're gonna go over and uh we're gonna check out our green pal lawn now get out there hit it up a little, a little bit hotter in this might rock my sleeves and stuff like that as you can see a little wild card swag so uh let's go do this
right guys, we just got done with our first uh, green pal lawn of the, not of the season, but the one that came back and rebooked us. Um, it's kind of challenging. It's not as nice as I would like it to be, but um, it was super overgrown. Got in here, was able to knock it out with the 32 inch pro stance on the front. Uh, we couldn't get it into the back. We were able to get the, the Y Bravo back here. You know, it's one of the things, as you can tell, I'm a little, put a little tired on me on that one, but it'd be all right. We were able to um, come back here with the Y Bravo. That's why I sell a lot of people, man. You definitely want to get that rear discharge for the Y Bravo. You know what I mean? Um, it wasn't too bad. More, more weeds than anything. But, you know, that's one of the things when coming out here for some of these green pal lawns, you got to expect it. You know what I mean? Prepare for the worst. That's what a lot of people, that's what I tell a lot of people on the green pal. Prepare for the worst. Don't expect the best. To make the best. Because once you're able to take care of it, you'll be able to, um, have them every weekly or bi-weekly. So once you put your, you know, touches on it, as long as they're not like a one hit wonder or anything like that, you ain't gotta worry about, you know, getting booked to come back and hit them up. I know last time I did them that one time and I had them as a um, climb before the pandemic, uh, it was bad. I think I came in here, it was super overgrown. I think I did about 150 or 200 or something like that. I think in one of my prior videos, you guys seen it and, um, I was able to, you know, get them as a as a residual client. Then, when the pandemic hit, they said they didn't really have the the fundage to do it, to really get their lawn done. I think they were going with somebody else. The neighbor came out and was like, "Are you gonna?" Karen came out and pretty much um was like, "Hey, you know, are you guys gonna um, be able to blow all the stuff off their their driveway?" And I told them I said, "Of course, you know what I mean. That's just what I do. I'm not gonna sit there and leave the grass on there." And they're like, "Well, you know, the other people did, but that's what you can expect from Karen." So that's that's how it rolls. So basically, took care of it, knocked it out the park. Not as great as we want it to be, but like I said, you know, this is typical of a green pal lawn. You know, unless you're in a residential neighborhood, especially inner city like this, you get some of the, you know, not the greatest lawns. But once you start putting your touch on it, you can make it one of your better lawns. So. Hey, we'll go over here as you can see I went over there at the end and really um mulched up some of the leaves because to that also helps me out with cleaning out my bottom of my deck and stuff like that so basically it gets a lot of the seeds out you know cleans it up a little bit those dry leaves so let's uh go on to this next one go out there and tag make this money stay tuned all right guys we're out here grinding um just took care of one of my other uh, lawns. I'm getting them on back on uh, the bi-weekly. I'd like to get them on weekly, but get them on bi-weekly. It's good. Cut them super low. Um, it's just one of those things. There's going in the third season with this with this customer, but um, yeah, of course we would rather have the weeklies, but you know sometimes you got to get what you got to get. So we're gonna um, get out here, and uh, the next lawn is uh, should be a pretty quick one. You know, I've, I've done it a few times. This is, this is all, I think this is probably gonna be the last season that I do this this particular lawn because uh, they're still in the lease with their uh, with their house with his roommate, so to say. He just got married, so he still has to do some of the upkeep. So one of the things we're gonna do is um still knock it on out. I'm really surprised. I thought we were gonna be done till May because that's what he was saying. I actually, it's real ironic because I do his brother's yard we just did his brother's yard earlier I, that's one of my better yards that i do this the the older brother the younger brother he likes it you know just cut it whatever he don't care you know what i mean scalp it, it but um, we kind of want to make it look good want to make you know um everything pop because you know within this neighborhood because we're more inner oklahoma city i would like to get more maybe into the subdivisions and stuff like that but you know you know i don't really have to travel too far for these yards so this kind of helps out and um yeah, we got some feedback on the Green Pal lawn. They were extremely happy, which I knew they probably would because I didn't really overcharge them like I probably should have. But that's okay though, because we'll be able to keep them bi-weekly. They're at more of a higher price on the Green Pal app, so that kind of helps out too. And uh, yeah, we're gonna um, go out here and knock out a few more of these yards. Um, yeah, got the threads on today. Let me know what you guys think of uh, of the the, the work shirts trying to change it up a little bit you know um, everybody else is kind of doing the same thing you know we got to get on out of the circle a little bit out of our comfort zone so yeah like I said my boy out there in California has a hookup on these so he uh, sent them on out and um, yeah the wilder they are the better it is so let's go out here let's make this money
we just got done banging it out. This one we are able to use the pro stance, so we'll break that out. You know, get in there, get out really quick. Um, you know, it's it's luck of the draw sometimes when um, you're, you're picking up those new lawns. You know, even like the last lawn, I thought I was going to be able to um, use the pro stance in the backyard. If I could have used the pro stance in the backyard, I probably could have jammed right through it quicker and I might talk to them and see maybe if they can move that little post and then I can get the pro stance in there if not then you know we'll tackle it with the Y Bravo because that's what we've been doing for years so we're good with it as long as we got that rear discharge shoot on it we can make it happen stay tuned let's do this <laughs> 